Hello, my name is Mike Kotka. I'm a technology manager with Rode & Schwarz. We are here at Mobile World Congress 2023 and we are showing a demonstration related to joint communication and sensing, which is one of the research items we have in 6G. The idea is to combine the capability to transmit data, communicate, as well as do environmental sensing like you know it from automotive applications, for instance, to sense the environment. That may enable a very new use case and it's very attractive and research on at the moment. So from a communication perspective, if you want to test that new technology, it, it adds on the new requirement, which is on the sensing part, because in a communication, we discuss things like data rates or throughput requirements. But for sensing, we need to address object resolution, uh, accuracy of these different objects we want to detect. Now, to contribute to this research work, we are using our automotive echo generator, which is able to do objects towards a device under test. So what you can see here is, in the configuration menu, I'm able to configure a number of objects, either static or dynamic, that have certain characteristics in terms of how far they are away, uh, what is the distance, as well as what is the speed of that object, or a rather cross-section, which is maybe uh, a sign for the size of that object. So you configure the different objects, and then the device under test will get back the reflection of that device here to mimic these different objects. That obviously allows you to have a comparison of your different approaches for your new waveform you are maybe working on in this environment, and see how good it works, actually. Well, also important to mention is that this is done already today in automotive radar frequency bands, but in the joint communication and sensing world, we are maybe targeting different uh, frequency bands as an example FR2, because that is a band where you have a decent bandwidth available and that you can work on for a certain resolution of the objects. So FR2 has become a request for us to do such object emulation in that frequency the range. We combine now the base unit with these front end extenders that are able to operate in 24 to 44 gigahertz. And with that as a solution, we are able to help the research community to evaluate what they have today and will develop in future. Now for a very simple showcase here, we use signal generators and analyzers on our end to visualize what our ob object generator is capable of doing. So you can see I've been setting 66 meter range, 170 meters, uh, kilometers per hour speed. And um, you can see here a simple calculation we did on our own, showing about the same uh, um, uh, figures that should of course be the case. But that is actually the work of the, our customers, all the research environment to verify how good they have achieved the requirements that may come up with this new technology. Thanks, thanks very much for listening.